Hey guys, this is Adrian Boysell with the Adrian Graphics and Marketing Channel. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make an awesome profile photo on Clubhouse. And we're gonna build the template. I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. And we're gonna jump right into it. So let's go. All right, so let me reduce my screen down here. Here we go. Let's open up Adobe Photoshop, which is the program we're actually gonna make this thing in. And because we're on Retina displays with iPhone, that's what Clubhouse is available in is iPhones and iPads. Right now, it has a Retina display, but the images are pretty small. So we're gonna go ahead and use a template that I'm gonna make right now. And we're gonna call it 600 by 600 on our new document. The resolution can stay 72. That's gonna be a squared one-to-one -one ratio. We're gonna hit create. Once we hit create, we're gonna create a box you'll see here with rounded corners. It's called the rounded rectangle tool. You're gonna to hit that little tool right there. You're gonna click in the dead center. I'll hit from center. And we're gonna make this thing, let's just say 500 pixels by 500 pixels. You're gonna hit okay. And then you're gonna see this thing drop in here in the center. I'm gonna change the color. Let's remove the stroke. Let's fill this thing with black. Just make it a solid black for the moment. We're gonna end up dropping a photo into there. I'm gonna make this very easy for you guys to follow move this over here to make it really easy. Then I'm gonna use my move tool. I'm gonna to move this to the center, boom. And then I'm going to adjust the roundedness of my properties. If you don't have the properties panel open, you can hit window, you can hit properties, and it'll show right up. The other thing that's really important to make sure that it centers, as you can see here, you got smart guides. All you gotta do is hit view, go to show, and then hit smart guides. The little pink guides, it'll show you when it's in the dead center. So now let's go over here. What we're gonna do, is we need to make the rounded corners on it just like as close as possible to the Clubhouse template. Now, Clubhouse has a very unique shape for the profile photos that can't just be easily replicated here in Photoshop, but I can get it within just a couple pixels. So we're gonna do that. I've seen a lot of people that are way off on their designs for their profile photos, and I wanna make them as close as possible. So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna make this 230. Make sure your little link is done so that it switches all of them over, boom. Now you'll see here, this is very, very close to what the clubhouse photo size is. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna minimize this down so it's not taking up as much space. I'm gonna do the same thing here and I'm gonna go to file, place and embed. And I'm gonna find a photo that I wanna use for clubhouse. As we'll just use this one for now. I want to use this photo on my document. I placed it in here already. All you have to do is roll over this, hold the Alt or Option button, and clip it into the document. You can see now I need to resize it, so I'm gonna hit Command or Control T, and I'm gonna size this thing down, right? But you're probably wondering, how do I get the, the background color to change? How do I change the background color? And how do I add one of those fancy borders? Well, we're gonna talk about that today. I'm gonna show you how to do that. This was just the first step of the template. Now we're gonna jump into the borders. So if you wanna put a border on it, you're gonna click on the initial object. You're gonna go over to the actual object shape itself, the uh, rounded rectangle tool, and I'm gonna click the border. So there's a di couple different borders. You can do a gradient border. You can do a, a solid colored border like this. I can go into yellow. You can see, you can start to, and I can change the thickness of that border in here. Why is it not letting me change it? There we go, I have to do it one at a time. I can make this much smaller, so let's just say we'll go to 12 right here. So you got a nice thin border now. If I don't want it to be yellow, I can change it to whatever color I want, pink, blue, whatever. I can add a border like that. And then there's even some other types of borders. So I can do textured borders. You can see here's some pretty neat stuff here, some dots, and I can custom design these however I want. You can even add some other, other ones here. If you have some other patterns that you wanna use, you can import patterns, find those online. Let's just say I wanted to use this one for now or this one for now, just something that's gonna stand out. There we go, that's pretty cool. That'll get some attention, maybe this one. I like that. So we're gonna use that for the moment, but let's just say I don't wanna use the red background. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna, whoops, how am I gonna change this red background? Well, there's two ways to do it. You can use the Photoshop tool, and let me just unclip this real quick. And I can go like this with the marquee tool and just clip my background out. I have to actually make this a rastered image first but I can clip the background out like that and just clip, clip it out of here again. This is the, the easy way to do it here in Photoshop, but if you have a more complicated photo with more hair and it's a little bit more difficult, then the next thing you're gonna wanna do, this is to make it really easy on you, is I'm gonna grab this photo and I'm gonna drag it over to here. I'm gonna pull this open here. It's gonna take just a second, boom. 
and there's a website called remove.bg. What I can do now is I can drop this photo right in here. In fact, that was not gonna work very well, so let me try this again. Let me go into my photos, go to my downloads where I was. I'll grab this photo and I'm gonna drag this right on here. Boom, you'll see, remove BG. And sure enough, it removed my background very easily. I can download that image for free. Boom, now I can go back in here. I can hit file, place embed. There's that one that I just removed. It went to my downloads folder. So you can see here, I can turn that layer off. I'll have to make the clipping mask again, Alt Control, clip it into there. And then if I wanna change the background of my image, let's just say I wanna make it a gradient image. What I'm gonna do is gonna to go to that image. I'm gonna to go to my fill up here. I'm gonna hit gradient. And now I have options of different gradients that I can pick. Right, so now that I've done that right, I'm gonna go in there. I got that color, A42027. Let's just say I wanna go on the other side now. I wanna change this to be a little bit different of a color. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit, maybe more towards purple. Look at that. So I wanted a purple to red background. I can click and adjust this however I want. I want it to be more red. I can just go in there and do that. If you want it to just be a solid color, you'll come over here, just pick a solid color like I had before or a yellow. And you can see here, this is the way I designed my stuff in Photoshop. This is the way you could create a really good profile photo. Now I have a couple versions where I took the text tool that I use in there. And if I got to step away for a minute, if I'm a speaker, I did a little BRB. I put a little black or a white here. Let's just make it white. I'm going to drag this over here and I can put a BRB on the top of this and I can make it a different font. So I can go in here and make this extra bold or black. And I can put this in here, BRB. So somebody sees, I'm gonna be right back. You can make this bigger if you want. You can put it over your whole photo. You can drop the transparency down a little bit just so people see that you're gone for the moment. I can bring this down a little bit lower. So you can upload that. Now the next thing, now that you've known how to build the image, make sure that you're using a quality image because if you have an image that is very pixelated, so I'll just give you an example. I'm gonna replicate this real quick. We're gonna do that. Now watch, now let me make this big. That's what I was doing wrong, see? Here we go. Okay, so if you upload a photo like this to Clubhouse, you can tell the difference between the two. It needs to be a good quality image. This is really, really important. I wanna make sure that your photos look good on there, that they stand out, that they're vibrant, and that you don't have flat muted colors like white and gray and light colors. So you're just gonna blend in with the rest of everybody else. So let's just say we got this beautiful image in here now. I wanna use this as my graphic. For my profile photo, I'm ready to go and I wanna export this. Well, how do you do that? We're gonna jump in here real quick. We're gonna hit File, Export, Export As. It's gonna pop up the dialog window and you're just gonna keep JPEG. You can reduce the quality down a little bit if you want. It's not gonna really hurt the photo, but it's gonna make the image size smaller, which is great. Uh, there you go. Now I'm gonna hit Export and I'm gonna save this as text. Now I've just saved that document onto there. I can send it to myself in Messenger, so I can go to Facebook Messenger, send it to myself, and upload that to my profile. That is how you do it. That's how you make a great clubhouse photo with the border, without the border. If you want to take it off, it's really easy. But I wanted to show you guys how to do that because I think this is a really underutilized area. You want to make sure your photos stand out, that they're clear, and that people can see you. And if you pull out the background, the reason why you want to do that is when people are speaking in the room and you get called on to either ask a question or to moderate or whatever that looks like, you need to say, hey, this is Adrian with the red background, or hey, this is Amanda with the blue background, or hey, this is John with the teal background, right? Being able to pick those colors helps people identify you inside a clubhouse, and that's ultimately gonna help you out a lot. So I wanted to make this photo or this tutorial on how to do a really awesome clubhouse photo for your profile. Hopefully this helped when you see this thing uploaded to my profile. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, I can't show you on this tutorial, but if you guys want to go check out my profile on Clubhouse, you can just look me up. If you're not on there and you're on Android, you're just going to have to wait a little bit. They're working on it. And I'm just excited that we got to do this. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. And as always, keep looking up.